I started this year with a plan to grow the most food possible in this 400 square foot area behind me that I call my 400 square foot garden. But in order to do this, we had to start from scratch. There was nothing here but bare ground. And we had to cr create all of these beds from scratch. I used cedar fence boards to construct the raised beds. And I did that um, because it was the most affordable way to construct raised beds using cedar. Um, these cedar fence boards cost only $3.98 for, for a six foot board. So I was able to build all of these beds. I have four beds behind me. One, two, three, four. They are each three feet wide by 18 feet long. And each bed costs a total of $27.86. So that's pretty cheap uh, considering. And so the total cost for all four of these beds came to $111.44. Not too bad for something that you only likely have to buy one time. And in order to extend the life of these cedar beds, I used a strategy called shosugiban, which is when you torch uh, or burn the sides of the, the outside of the wood to char it, and it extends the lifespan of the wood. It also gives it a really, really cool look, I think, on the outside, and it will help uh, prevent rot from happening so quickly and um, it, I think it turned out really nice. Then after building the beds, we filled them all up with soil and we were ready to start growing. And I made a plan, a succession plan, so that no bed ever went bare and we always had something growing in each bed throughout the entire growing season. Now this garden was very, very successful for the small space that it's in, in just 400 square foot. And I gave out plans for my garden plan for this 400 square foot garden earlier this, this year. And I am now looking forward to next year. And my family and I just got back from the grocery store and we spent about $80 for like the tiniest minuscule cart full of barely any groceries. And I just find that it's more pertinent now more than ever that we start growing more food in our backyard to save money. And we're also going to be getting better food, better high quality food from right in your backyard. So while this 2023 version of our 400 square foot garden was very successful, I have plans to make it even more efficient and more successful for next year. So I am releasing new crop plans for 2024 for our 400 square foot garden that I think is going to make it a lot more simpler for the new gardener to follow. I think that my plans for this year were a bit too complicated, even for me, um, to, to follow along with at times. So my plans for next year are a lot more simpler, uh, hopefully be more streamlined and easy to follow along and won't be so stressful doing um, flipping beds and doing all those kinds of things. It should be a lot more simpler and easier to maintain and stay on top of. So not just will I be giving new plans for this version of the 400 square foot garden, I also am taking another 20 by 20 space in my garden. I'm going to be experimenting with a different 400 square foot garden um, using just in-ground beds. So I'm making it even simpler than you don't have to construct raised beds to grow food. So that's what I'm doing. I am experimenting with a different 20 by 20 area and I'm going to have a separate crop plan for that as well which will be very easy to follow along with as well. So I'm going to be giving you two different crop plans, two different 400 square foot garden crop plans that uh, you could get for free by signing up down below for our newsletter. I'll send you those new crop plans. I'm very excited to follow along with and maybe it'll give you guys some inspiration in planning for your gardens for the upcoming year. I know I'm really excited to get things growing again in our gardens and I'm sure if you're watching these videos you're probably excited for next year too. So that's all I wanted to share. We had a very successful year in the garden. I'm hoping next year will be even more successful and we'll be able to grow even more food in, in a very, very tiny area. And if you're like me and just have a small area in your backyard but you still have that yearning to grow a ton of food follow along on our channel because we're going to continue this series of our 400 square foot garden and it's going to be even bigger and better next year um, so i'm really excited for that stay tuned thanks for watching happy new year and uh, good luck in the in the new year